This is episode number 18 of the Homeowner Show. Whether you're DIY or looking to hire, we're here to help you find the best information and options for you and your home. My name is Kevin Hackett, and here with me is Craig Williams. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Homeowner Show. We are so glad that you could join us here in 2019. 2019. What's up? Man, it feels good to be in 2019. I was done with 2018, man. <laughs> I was just getting going. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I don't know. 2018 was rough for me. 2018 was rough? Well, just the last half of it. It was gimpy. Yeah, it was gimpy. <laughs> it was tough, man. I'm, I'm done with that mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are glad to be back with our Homeowner Show family. We're glad that you guys could stick with us and do a new year. Uh, we got some cool things planned for this year. Uh, and we just uh, we just got done rolling out our live show footage. Man, that was a fun show. It was fun. We got yeah. to sing Happy Birthday to yeah. the Thistle. Yeah. We sounded pretty good. I, I mean, I thought so. Yeah. Throw a little harmony in there. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get any record deal from it, but... Probably not. <laughs> a little notoriety. That's all right. Yeah. That was so, good. Man, I'm, I'm excited about this year. I'm excited about what's going on with the show. Um, I feel like we've got, uh, you know, the best days are ahead of us. Yeah. I sure hope so. I mean, we only did like 17 episodes and, well, I guess a couple of them rolled into 2019, but yeah. this is this is like our first official episode. Of the new year. Yeah. In the new studio. Yeah. Here we are. Which is about as good looking as we are. Well, you know, there's only so much you can do with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in the spirit of home improvement and home repair, we decided to go ahead and move into the new homeowner's show studio unfinished. Unfinished. But, hey, we have a studio. We have a studio. That's awesome, man. Yeah. And if you're looking at Kevin, I mean, you can see that glorious wall insulation. And yeah. just behind my handsome chin <laughs> is some sheetrock that has been textured. Yeah. So things are coming along. We're excited about the new space. It's going to look really great. And hopefully as uh, new episodes roll out, you'll be able to see some uh, some improvements throughout the studio. Yeah, it's going to be a little more comfortable for us as we... Uh as we get everything going for our guests to come in here, we've got our own space and uh, dedicated space. Things. Dedicated space is nice. <laughs> uh, it's going to be good. A little more convenient for the guests. Yeah, I think so. And uh, no, you're right. I mean, this has been a, a big project that you've done. Um, <laughs> I haven't helped one bit. <laughs> yeah, I think I think actually, if you go back to episode one, yeah, I think this is actually the story that I tell about like my nightmare project, yeah, where, like the floor is rotten, and that's the one. So, I, 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 I toyed with the idea of calling this like Chicken Coop Studios, ah, because it's pretty much what this was. Yeah, it was a chicken coop. Yeah, that I converted. Yeah, and it was supposed to be a small apartment, but that didn't work out. No, um, but I like this better. Yeah, it works out for us <laughs> real well. And, uh, you know, we got the heating and air conditioning in here. and um, That was top of the priority list, man. Yeah, dude. We live in Houston, man. Got to have some, some air flowing. That's right. That's absolutely important. Yeah. So. so, so this is this is obviously one of our uh, New Year's resolutions that uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be getting on top of and making sure that it looks snazzy for all of our guests and yeah. uh, for all you people out there in the YouTube land and the uh, uh, I guess we're gonna be posting some videos to Facebook as well. Sure. From the studio, uh, we we are also joined by uh, the studio mascot. She's laying around here somewhere. Yeah, Clara. Clara. Clara the Aussie. Yeah. So we'll have to bring her on camera at some point. One day. So she's a little too pretty for this show. Yeah, yeah. Well, she she's going to dress it up quite a bit <laughs> for sure, man. So so look at looking back on on 2018, Kev. What were uh, what were some of the highlights from the from the homeowner show for you? Man, you know, I I think I mean this probably goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> I think just launching the show yeah. was a big deal for us. I mean, uh, it's something that. That is, uh, you were kind of thinking through something for for a while now, and uh, getting my input on on what it looks like, and just you know, it, I remember back um, late August uh, or so, the good old days. Yeah, we we were talking, and it was kind of like, let's do a show. <laughs> are are we ready for that? And it's like, nah, <laughs> probably not, but 
Here we go. (laughs) We got to start sometime, right? Yeah. And so we launched our first episode. And um, so for me, honestly, one of the highlights was just kind of getting this thing off the ground and and knowing that that it's going to take, you know, people like like you out there listening uh listening to us regularly uh to make this thing a success and and um you know we we want it to be something that's valuable uh mm-hmm. to our listeners we want it to be something that's helpful for you guys um we care about people ultimately deep down in our hearts Craig and I are, are people that care about other people and and we want you to get the most out of your home and the investment that you've made. And so, um, you know, that's why we ask for your input. You know, if, if you've got a show that, you, that you're that you interested in, if you've got something going on with your house that um, that you need help with or, or that you want to share with someone else an experience that you had, you know, th- those things are valuable to other people. So we want to share experiences and uh, get people on the show that are, that are knowledgeable about how to, how to help with those things and uh, so, so to me, just getting this thing off the ground was a, was a, was a highlight. Yeah. Yeah. And I know for, for me, I mean, just, just kind of piggybacking on, on, on what you're talking about there. I, I really try to lean into areas where I've had conversations with people, um, that, that feel like they've been taken advantage of, or like they, they made like a big mistake in an area and they like, if they had it to do over again, they would have done it differently or they would have, they would have hired this guy or they would have, you know, done business with that gal, Um, and then I try and find those guys who I feel are, you know, walking in integrity in their, in their business and in their practices, bring them in here in the studio and have a conversation about the way they do business. And like, you know, what, what should customers be looking out for when they're looking for someone like them? Yeah. Um, and what's the kind of language that they should use? What's Mm -hmm. the, you know, and that's, that's always been the motivation for this show is just to allow people to sort of naturally and organically, uh, get educated about, you know, taking care of their home, uh, you know, in, in, and in in my work, a lot of times it's just it's it's a constant barrage of uh, people feeling like they've been taken advantage of. Yeah. People feeling like they didn't get what they were promised. People mm-hmm. feeling like you know the project didn't go as planned. And and a lot of that's just coming from a position of not knowing how those things go. They've never mm-hmm. had a busted toilet before. They've never had a leak in their roof. Right. Um, you know they they've never had their driveway crack. Um, you know, or just simple things like some of the products that we're, they, they've never thought about, you know, how that could be an advantage to them in their home or, you know, how that maybe they could use that in a different way. And I, I love bringing that perspective to the table and that sort of bearing out in people's lives. Can they, can they use that information? Is it valuable? You know, and can they, could they hand it off to someone else who's going through something similar? Yeah. And I, and I think, I think there's, there, there's kind of two sets of people. There are people that have, have, purchased a home and, and kind of like man I, I can do this because um you know i'm choosing to, to own a home so they've yeah. done it and there's others maybe that think i don't know man I, I may not be ready to own a home um it's a whole lot easier to not have to maintain my own home whether they're they're renting or living in an apartment uh something like that and, and I, I think one of the things that i'm interested in as we really move forward is helping people understand man, you can do this yeah and and there's so many things out there there's tools out there to help you understand what to do how to do it when to do it and we want to be one of those tools mm-hmm. we want to be one of those tools where you can go man i got a leak what do i do or um you know the, the next episode we're going to do here um, on the homeowner show is is about roofs. I mean, how much how much do you know really know about roofs and what should you do with it? I mean, those are those are things that uh, I, we don't expect you to know all the answers to. We don't even know all the answers to. But there are people out there that do. And when we bring those guys on, uh, we we hope that it 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 allows you, the listener, to have some confidence in in owning a home. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, like, just talking about roofs, I mean, that's a tricky one, right? Because, I mean, it's something that you rarely, I mean, like, it's not like you go up and have dinner on the roof. Uh, <laughs> not normally. No, uh, <laughs> not tonight. But, <laughs> but, I mean, like, it's just, it's something that's out of sight, out of mind a lot yeah. of times. And so, you know, you don't think about the maintenance and you don't think about, you know, it, it's not common knowledge most of the time on just how to deal with that. And so, like, we want to we wanna introduce you to, to an expert that can talk about that and, and tell you the things to look out for. Yeah, because it is an investment. I mean, your home should be an investment. It's a because crucial part of the home that protects the rest of the home. <laughs> that's right. And, and you know, 
it, it's like anything else. You you get out of things what you put into it. Yeah. And, and your home is no different. And you know, for for most of us, we we are either raising a family in a home, or we've raised a family in a mm-hmm. home, and maybe there's you know grandkids coming to their home. But you know, we you. You want that to be a safe place. Mm-hmm. You want it to be an exciting place. You want it to be a place that other people want to be. Um, and you know, one day you may sell that home. And and if you do, um, you know, I, I hope that you feel a little bit of a loss in there. That you've you've invested something in it, not just in money, mm-hmm. but some time, some energy. You know, I, I remember uh, the last the last home we sold. You know, I remember walking into my daughter's room, going, "Man, this is." A lot of stuff happened here, yeah. you know, a lot of a lot of time, a lot of love, um, a lot of energy, and a lot of investment in this room alone. And so, uh, you know, it, it's interesting to see the evolution of a home and, and the changes that it makes. And uh, man, that's exciting stuff to me. Yeah, yeah. So, so, do you have any big goals for the show this year? Well, yeah. Uh, one of one of the goals that I've got, um, and this is something that is really out of the control of of you and me on some level, um, is nothing's out of my control. Uh, <laughs> I wish that were true. I wish that were true. But one of my goals is, you know, I hope we get to the point where um, where where we hit a hundred listeners on an episode. Yeah, and and I I know that I know that some people are like, oh. Sh- that that shouldn't be too difficult, but man, there's some exposure issues, you know, trying to f- trying to to get some exposure and some of that. Uh, you know, if you're a listener out there and you enjoy listening to this show, um, you know, we could really value uh, your your time to go on iTunes and give us a review because yeah. those types of things can can push us over a limit of getting more exposure. And uh, so so I guess one of my goals is to do that. And, and in order to do that, you know. It's going to be a goal of ours to, um, of mine, and and I think Craig's as well to, to just continue to put out a quality product and hopefully get better and better each week. Yeah, yeah, no, I hope we, I hope it does continue to get better. I feel like it's gotten a lot better. At just kind of, I mean, in the twenty episodes, or I guess what is this, eighteen? This is eighteen. Yeah, eighteen episodes that we've had so far. Yeah, I, I, one one of my big goals for the year um, is is we've. And, and and I I really enjoy having people in studio. I I actually think that's, I think that's a better way to podcast. Sure. Um, but we've come across some folks that really the only way we're going to have a conversation with them is you know, either on a, on a phone or through a video line or something like that. So it I, one of my one of my big goals is to have several uh, remote interviews this year. I, yeah. I, I really think that'd be a, a cool thing to, to add to our repertoire sure. uh, on the show is be able to talk to people across the country. I know we've, we've uh, you know, looked into some folks in Washington, D.C., yeah. um, in Florida, uh, and I, we've apparently got a pretty strong listenership in Sweden now. I wouldn't mind chatting with one of those guys, <laughs> seeing, seeing what home ownership yeah. is like across the pond. Definitely. There. Uh, and, and so, you know, just you know, expanding uh, the, the people that we talk to on the show uh, just so we can get a, a broader view of, of home ownership. Yeah, and, and I think that's something I want to I wanna definitely clarify is, is that my goal isn't just numbers because at the end of the day, I, I don't really care so much about numbers. <coughs> what, what I care about um, is helping people mm-hmm. and, and, and getting people um, – like you said, the exposure to some helpful tools, hopefully, um, and uh, I'm glad I'm glad for those that that are listening today that that are that are benefiting from our from our podcast. But I'd love to see that number grow and grow. Yeah. Well, let, let me let me just tell our, our audience a little bit about this this room here. Yeah. Because uh, uh, at least at least the plans for it is is we're we're just gonna have a big kind of a conference room table here in the middle where we can we can bring in. I, I'm hoping to have at least you know space for about six guests uh, at at this table um, right there behind Kevin. We're gonna you know have a, a pretty you know, shiplap wall because that's trendy and yeah everyone likes that um, and. 
you know, the, you can probably tell that the lighting's a little bit different in here already. So we've we've already we've already done a lot of the uh, the groundwork in order to kind of make this a really good space. We just kind of put the finishing touches on it. Uh, we got to you know finish that wall and a ceiling and the floor, which sound like big projects, but it's just it's not a it's not a tremendously huge space. Yeah, I think uh, it's like a lot of things. Um, it's finding the time to do it. Yeah. If you're not going to hire someone out, uh, yeah. it's one of the big challenges is finding the time to do it. Well, and, you know, I, I could hire someone to do it, but I, I think in my mind, in order to kind of keep some integrity in the show, I wanted, <laughs> I kind of wanted to struggle along sure, and figure some of this stuff out as... Well, I've never done a shiplap wall. I think you just you just finished a shiplap wall, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, so I, I brought in Kevin to do my shiplap wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> my, my wife has uh, has been wanting a shiplap wall for for a long time, even before Chip and Joanna Gaines really kind of made those things famous in some way. She's she's just always loved that look. And, yeah, no, uh, it's it's a fantastic look. It I really mean. is, and uh, we 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 found a, a place in our entryway, and uh, I spent the holiday for a few days. Um, taking some time and, and nailing that stuff up yeah. and, and you know it, it's like anything you get into a project like like this like this room or, or that that shiplap wall in, in my house and and there's always going to be something you run across you're like i wasn't expecting that yeah and you, you gotta you know it takes some time to to figure it out to ask some people what their opinion is and uh and those sorts of things but man i, I tell you the thing that i loved about finishing up that wall is just the satisfaction of, of people, you know, looking at that and going, man, you did that? And I'm like, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a good feeling. Yeah, it is a good feeling. And, and, I, and I know it's going to be the same way for the studio. And once we really get finished and, uh, you know, our guests or, you know, th they walk in here and, and they see this place and see, man, uh, it's it's a nice space. And, and also for you, our listeners, you know, we want to we want to give you all a good experience as well. In order to do that, having a good studio is, is yeah. important. You know, and it, it might be kind of fun uh, a little later on down the road to actually bring Jared in and kind of talk about the uh, the genesis of this room because uh, you know you talk about projects sometimes where like you know you, you think about how long it's going to take and just you know multiply that by two and and this was just like the nightmare of all nightmares when it came to like <laughs> just redoing something um, but like 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 you said like I'm really happy now because like kind of figured out how to do everything from the ground up the only sure. thing i didn't really have to do was the roof right everything else had to be redone in this room as we kind of worked through it and discovered oh my gosh that's rotten oh my gosh that's falling apart oh my gosh like that's not done right <laughs> um that needs to be redone and it's so like th th that that kind of stuff just kept coming up in this room it might be kind of fun to kind of you know rehash that with jared yeah. After we've had a couple of adult beverages in us. Um, just to, <laughs> so we're not like having like PTSD in the, <laughs> or the room or something. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I've got like some, I've got some fun goals for the show too. I mean, I, 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 I think I, t you know, well, if, if you go back to like the Disney Circle episode, I'm going to get that finger wing in finger wagging ursula it's it's gonna happen I've, I've, I've put a little research into it over the holidays i think i think this is this is a reality it's gonna happen it's huh? gonna happen i even I, I reached out to the uh to the ceo over there at circle okay and uh we we, we chatted yeah and uh so it's th wheels are turning like like in your head you chatted or no, actually no, no. chatted? yeah like we 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 went back and forth on LinkedIn. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. So we we got we got got some momentum. Yeah, I, I, I tell you another. I, I another got some goal. social media game. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm glad. Uh, you know, we an another fun goal of mine, and we you and I have talked about this off air, and so if anyone out there can help us with this, please help us with this. We want to get Nick Offerman on this show. Absolutely. I mean, like, legitimately want to get. I, I I enjoy. You know, you know, we're talking about my ship lap wall. Um, I I thoroughly enjoy woodworking. It's something I, I I love to do. Wish I had more time to do it. And Nick Offerman is a, is an expert woodworker. Yes. And um, I I know he's hilarious as well. But yeah. um, but the dude has some serious skill. And and we'd love to have him on the on the show. So if you have any connections out there. <laughs> Man, right in. Help us under. Help us make that a reality. Uh, you know, considering that it is Nick Offerman, anybody helps us make that. I'll I'll throw in a bottle of bourbon for that. Okay, one for them and one for Nick. There you go. <laughs> hey, the pot just gotten got hey. sweeter. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, we'll we'll make it happen. We'll, we'll get the finger wagon Ursula. Yeah, and and Nick Offerman, and <laughs> it'll be fantastic. Hey, 
Let's and make it happen. Can, can you go ahead and start like Twitter stalking him? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Okay. I'll work we on need, it. We need somebody. To, we, can someone in the department of... <laughs> Who are you talking to? We don't have a department. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> There's nobody here. <laughs> it's, it's Clara? Yeah, Clara's not going to help us. She's out. She's she's asleep. That's fine. Yeah. That's what she does best. Yeah. And yeah. it's true. It's true. So what, I'm trying to think of some other goals I might have for the show. Well, you know, I, I think um, well, one of the goals, an, another goal that I've got is is just variety. Mm-hmm. You know, I, there's so many things that, that we could... That we could talk about, and and I'm sure I, there's got to be something out there that some of you guys out there listening are, are going, man, why hadn't they talked about blank? Right. And and you know maybe it's either because um, we hadn't thought about it, yeah. or we hadn't found the right person to interview yet, or or maybe uh, the right person's just been busy. <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely a possibility. Um, but those are those are things that that I'm looking for is variety. Make sure that you know we're 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 offering things uh, on our show that are that are interesting yeah. to you guys. Um, you know we want to we want to offer like the stuff like the roofing or plumbing or or electrical or or you know those sorts of things. But then also some hopefully some things that are a little off the beaten path like beekeeping, right? Mm-hmm. And so uh, you know if you've got something, uh, you know let us know and we we want to. We want to offer the types of things that you want to listen to because ultimately, if if we're not offering things that, that you want to listen to, well, you're not going to listen to <laughs> us. So I just selfishly, I want to get an electrician in here, man. That's like a huge gap in my in my my knowledge base on home ownership. I mean, it's something I always, you know, I can do some, but like, I, there's a lot of it I just don't know a lot right. about. So yeah. I'm, I'd be interested in talking to one of those guys for sure. Yeah. Um. But what about your own home, man? You got any you got any big goals for your for your home this year? Well, you know, one of the, the things... The Hackett Casa? Yeah. Uh, you know, interestingly enough, um, one of the things that that just fell off the radar a little bit at the end of uh, last year, uh, really for the half of the year, is is kind of the landscaping of my yard. Mm. Um, and, and not necessarily any redo because my, my yard was decently landscaped whenever we purchased it. But it's a lot of landscape to keep up with. Sure. And so, um, I one of my goals is just to be out in the yard a little bit more and uh, making it look good aesthetically from the outside, um, and and that sort of thing. And uh, you know, we we've we've done some things that we really want to do to the house. Yeah. Uh, but but as far as just appearances go. Um, you know, we live on a golf course, and so a lot of people are driving by uh, <laughs> regularly, you know, like over and over and over. And I don't want to be the house that they're like, uh-huh, <clears throat> that's that house. Yeah. They never mow their yard. <laughs> I don't want to be that that guy. My ball you know? always gets stuck in his lawn. <laughs> exactly. I never can find my, my, my ball whenever I hit it into their yard. <laughs> that's partly because I have my kids out there just stealing golf balls. <laughs> but that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, you you've got a lot more land here uh, than I do. Obviously, you've got multiple multiple buildings on it, and uh, obviously, the studio is a big deal for you because this is on your property. But uh, do you have anything else that you're kind of looking forward to? Uh, I mean, there's stuff I need to do, and none of it, all of it, I'm looking forward to. I mean, I one one of the things I did when I first got this place is I went through and I cleared all the fence rows and redid a lot of the, a lot of the fencing. Mm. And I, I've, I've been out you know, surveying that and a, a lot of it just needs some upkeep. Sure. And, and some of it needs some repair, uh, just to keep it safe. Um, and so I'm, I'm not necessarily looking forward to that. I enjoy <laughs> that kind of work, but like yeah. it's just, it just takes a long time yeah. to, to go up and down the fence rows yeah. Uh, I used to hate that when I was a kid too. I mean, I enjoy the work. It's just, it's just a long, it takes a long time to do it. Sure. Um, and you know, it's just something I have to do. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess I could hire somebody, but it would be ridiculously expensive. Um, Not worth the money. For, I, mean, I mean, just because it, because it does take, take so much time and then sure. it's, you know, it's just one of those finding the time to do it. So, but like, you know, you, like you said, I've got to finish this, this up. Um, and, but you know, that, and, and you know, you know this about my, there's always something. Um, you know, yeah, because we're we're gonna have to expand the house eventually for the kids, yeah, uh, and you know, just get enough room for everybody, sure. 
Um, and that seems weird saying about my place because it has so much space already, but we just, you know, it's, we need a little bit more. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna have to figure that out. I'm trying to think, I know, I know one of the big projects that we always wanted to do is the ceiling in the upstairs. Yeah. Um, which not ever having been in my house out there, listeners, I, I don't have an attic. And so like there's, it's just roof to ceiling on yeah. the upstairs. However, um, however, what? Yeah. <laughs> It's just acoustic tiles up there. Too. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like it's weird. It's like you have a drop ceiling with no drop. But it's not dropped. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it's like you push the acoustics tile up half an inch and it and you're touching the roof with it. Yeah, so. and I, I don't know I mean it was like that when we bought it and I don't know the thought process behind it. Uh, Surely it's some sort of insulation or something. I mean it right? does provide insulation, but I mean like you can get I, I would imagine wood would provide just as good an insulation as that maybe not but like who cares yeah um and but like the because it's a drop ceiling i'm using my finger quotes yeah it's <laughs> drop ceiling um you got to put in all of that framework yeah and it's like for and doing it up that tight and close it had to be hard sure um or maybe i just don't know anything about putting in drop ceilings it could have been really easy i don't know <laughs> but um it just seems to me it would have been easier just to kind of like let's put some bead board up there or let's you know, something i don't know well and, and maybe you know i think i think there's so many things about about homes that are that are like that project it's like you look at it and go there's nothing wrong with that and, yeah. it, and, it, and it obviously served a function and that's the reason why they did it to begin with but why or or maybe <laughs> or maybe that looked great in the moment um but here we are 30 40 50 60 hundred years later and it's like that really needs to be updated um and and so you know picking your project sometimes is yeah is a challenge what do i do first sometimes and, and it can be overwhelming on some level but I, I think i think one of the important things whenever you own a home is just to you know not necessarily say i got to tackle all these things at the same time but make a list of things that you really want to do mm -hmm. to your home and uh you know figure out which ones are practical yeah. figure out which ones are feasible uh, which ones are, are cost effective and are, and are going to be worth it in the yep. long run? And uh, you know, you know, honestly, when when we did this uh, this shiplap wall in our house, you know, who knows? Then the next person that that buys that house, they may hate shiplap, <laughs> or or they may walk in our front door and go, "Why did they do this? Yeah. You know, this is this looks horrible." Um, which it doesn't look horrible. <laughs> but maybe they they don't like it, and so it's not their taste, you yeah. know. And then the opposite also may be true. Someone walks in and says, "Man, I absolutely love this." So, on some level, you have to find out what your taste is, yeah, and make it something that you think uh, is is valuable for your home, for for your own family. And um, you know, if if uh, if your family's getting bigger and you need to expand your house, well, you got to expand your house, man. Yeah, figure yeah. it out. We'll 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 do it. We got the got the property to put it on yeah so it'll, it'll be a good year man I'm, I'm looking forward to it yeah um, me too i think there's some some good stuff ahead um i mean my, my wife and i've talked about several things we want to do for the house so we'll, we'll we'll see what happens we'll probably document some of that and talk about it on the show sure um but yeah man uh if you have not yet hit the subscribe button there in itunes what are you waiting on stitcher do it now yeah do it click it uh, but yeah, also, if you if you get the chance, leave us a review. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know if there's anything you'd like us to talk about, review, or interview. Um, we're game. And you can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, and pretty much, you know, any... You can find us on the interwebs there. Yeah, homeownershow.com. Look us up. That's where you can find a lot of our episodes as well. Um, there's a lot of good podcasting apps out there, you know. Go exploring if you don't like the iTunes or Google Play, you know, whatever, you know, whatever you're downloading off Google Play. A lot of uh, people listen to ours on Podbean. Podbean, yeah. Yeah. I, so. I, I personally use Pocket Cast. I, I like that one quite a bit. So, and for all of you out there, if you have not yet made it a practice to listen to some good podcasts, put some there in the old iPhone holster. Yeah. And get educated on some stuff, listen to some stuff you enjoy. I, I found a lot of people listening to uh, True Crime oh. podcasts. So yeah. It seems to be like a growing trend right now. I guess I need to look into that. So the True Crime 
is not subscribing to the homeowner show. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there, Craig. I did. I turned a phrase. Yeah, that was uh, that was slick. I didn't even see it coming. Oh, man, out of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, you know, we. I, I also want to say this. Thank, thank you to all of you who are out there watching and, and listening. Uh, we we do value uh, the fact that you're that you're listening to us. Uh, you know, um, it it's, uh, means a lot to us that that you've already subscribed and that you're listening to us right now. So, you know, tell your friends and um, you know, know that every Tuesday we're going to put out a podcast and. Uh, you know, hopefully that that doesn't change. So far, we've been able to hit every Tuesday. So, uh, you know, just keep at it and see how things go. Yeah, big thank you to everybody. We, it's been a great year. We're looking forward to a new one, and uh, hope it's a good one for you. Yeah. So, um, I, I think that's about all we got for this episode, and uh, we look forward to this year. So, thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll be back next Tuesday with our roofer. And uh, we hope you join us. Until then, have a great week. See you.